Hi there guys, question 17 asks to solve um, this, find the values of theta within this range here, okay? Um, and one decimal place, that's always important to notice. So looking at this straight away, I can see that we've got cos and we've got sine, and that, that's gonna cause a problem um, when we're trying to solve it. Now, with all of these quadratic, if you like, trig equations, we're going to have to think about factorising, solve them just like we would a normal quadratic, so everything's got to be on one side and everything's got to be equal, therefore equal to zero. Now um, I'm going to have to get this all to the same trig ratio if you like, so because there's two of them are already cos, it makes sense to make this one cos, and I know that this one is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta using your simple trig identities. So let's rewrite that. Okay, now you should notice we have like terms. So if we get everything all on one side by adding a cos, let's add a cos squared theta to both sides, we'll have three cos squared thetas. There's no other like terms with this cos theta, let's leave that as it is. But here we have a one, if we get rid of this one and by subtracting 1, and we're actually going to get minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so now we have to think about factorising this. Now, some of you may find it easier to say, well, let cos theta equal x. You could rewrite this, so that would be 3x squared, because remember, cos squared theta is just cos theta squared, minus an x, minus 2. You could then go and factorise that and just swap these values back in at the end. I'm not going to, I'm just going to go for it. So, and it's pretty nice because these are both prime numbers, so the only option is 3 cos theta and cos theta, that's the first term. Now looking at the 2, I know I'm going to have to have a 1 and a 2. If I put the 2 there, I'm actually going to create 6x, so that's, that's a long way off this 1, so it has to be 1 there and it has to be a 2 there. Now we have to think about how we make this minus cos. So it's going to have to be a negative 3 plus 2. That's going to give me my minus 1. Okay, so let's rewrite this out. So we can take this first bracket, put that equal to 0. So 3 cos theta plus 2 is equal to 0. And cos theta is equal to 1. Okay, let's start with this one on the right. Because it's equal to 1, I just find it easier just to draw my trig graphs. So where is the angle equal to 1? So straight up there and right at the end. And if you look at our range, we haven't got to go any further than 360. So this is easy. So theta is going to equal 0 degrees and it's also going to equal 360 degrees. So these two are going to feature in our answer in a bit. Now actually, I've just neglected something. Can you see this sign here? It says less than 360. So we can't actually include that one. So just cross that out. It's always worth looking at these inequality signs with, you know, be careful basically. Right, let's rearrange this one on the left that we've got here. So cos of theta, that's going to be equal to minus two thirds. Just rearranging. So we have to draw a cast diagram. And we know that the values of cos theta are negative, because it's negative two-thirds. So C, A, S, T. So where are the values of cos negative? Well, in this second quadrant and this third quadrant, and these two angles are identical to one another. Okay, so what we have to do now is find out what theta is. Theta is the inverse of cos of minus two thirds. So type that into your calculator and you should get 